get ready to test your wits. It's time for the High Five Challenge, a weekly TV game show featuring some of the best and brightest high school teams from throughout the Pacific Northwest. And now, here's the host of High Five, Wayne Falagowski. Hey, thank you, Jeremiah. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us here today on a brand new season of the High Five Challenge. I'm your host, Wayne Falagowski. Well, we're entering our 15th season on the air. In the last 14 years, more than 8,000 outstanding high school kids have appeared on High Five, all getting their well-deserved 15 minutes of fame. Now, let's get started and launch today's new show. First, off to my right, from Hawkinson High School in Vancouver, Washington, let's hear it for the Hawks. There they are, the Hawks. All right. And off to my left, from Oregon, Oregon Episcopal in High School in Portland, Oregon, let's hear it for the Aardvarks. There they are, the Aardvarks. All right. All right. Let's check our first five categories for today. All right, we'll have people in history, elements, trivia, dinner dishes, and ge geographical peas. Let's go to that first. All right, we'll start off with people in history. Good luck to both teams, and we will start off with a 20-point question. Igor Sikorsky, a Russian-born U.S. aircraft designer, is best known for inventing this. That is the Sikorsky helicopter. Thanks, everybody. Welcome back to the High Five Challenge. Let's check the scores. Right now, Oregon Episcopal has 2,070 points. Hawkinson Hawks have 2,020 points. Before we go to the next three categories, let's meet the Hawks from Hawkinson High, Vancouver, Washington. Jeremiah, take it away. You got it, Wayne. We're here with Spencer Turner. And Spencer, I heard you're a three-time champion, but in what? In golf. Golf? Yeah, our golf team is, yeah. How, how long have you been golfing for? Uh, about six years now. Oh, that's awesome. We just got done with the celebrity golf tournament this past summer, so maybe you'll join us next year. All right. <laughs> Hope, how do you say your last name? Estes. Estes, okay. Yes. And I hear that you are a president. President of what? Uh, I am the president and founder of Hawkinson High School's World Culture Club this year. What do you guys do there? Um, we learn all about places all over the world. We eat their food and we listen to music and watch movies and learn about holidays and all kinds of stuff. A real world connoisseur. <laughs> awesome. Laura, how are you? I'm very good. <laughs> Laura Jenkins, I heard that you picked up a game at a vintage store that's called... Go to the head of the class. <laughs> and it's a trivia game, and you said it really helped you prepare for High Five. Yeah, it actually did in like its own quirky way. It's like a classroom, and then it has like geography and stuff like that. It's really interesting. She's prepared. Watch for this one, okay? <laughs> and Alyssa Stavig, how are you? Good. You went to the other side of the world, to the Beijing Olympics, I heard. And what took you there? Well, I went with my high school band program, because we went as part of the Olympic Orchestra. That is awesome. And you know what? We celebrate all kinds of people that are competitive, whether it's in the arts or um, in sports. So that's great. Great combination. And Austin, get over here, my friend. All right. I hear your favorite game is Yahtzee. Oh, yes. I dearly love the Yahtzee. Uh, why are you so passionate about that game? I just don't quite understand. Um, I don't know. It's just really fun. I find it really entertaining. And some of the people I play with, Mitchell Price is a good friend of mine, and we play Yahtzee all the time. Fantastic. I heard it didn't help you at all to prepare for High Five, but <laughs> Not at all. hey, that's all good. So for more on Hawkins School, definitely visit our website, high-five.com. And Wayne, back to you. All right. Thank you. Spencer, have you ever had a hole-in-one yet? I have. You have? Oh, man. Here I am, 60-some years old. Played all my life, never had one. How old are you? I'm 18. 18. Well, doggone it. Well, congratulations. Hey, a great audience. Thank you so much for that applause. Let's check the scores. Right now, Hawkinson has 1,980 points. That was a good year. And Oregon Episcopal is in the lead right now with 2,150 points. But we have five more categories, so they could catch up. Before we go to the next five categories, Jeremiah, let's meet the Aardvarks from Oregon Episcopal. OES is in the house, and we are here with Ellie McQuiston. And Ellie, I heard that you 
We're totally unprepared for today. No. <laughs> no, you've actually been watching Jeopardy to kind of brush up on your quiz skills. Yeah, that's right. I'm a big Jeopardy fan. Perfect. And it's great preparation for High Five. <laughs> Would you ever like to be on Jeopardy down the road? Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Awesome. Sarah, uh, Lowell, you are a tap dancing machine. Yes. And you've been where four times? Disneyland. I've performed there four times. I love Disneyland. I'm going to put on my tap shoes. <laughs> Hold on. And Darren, I was uh, a little disappointed, man. I, I know it's a rough show here, but... You were actually born in Alaska. And we just had an Alaska question, but it, I understand. But this is your second appearance on television, mm -hmm. so that you're not new to fame. And you've actually met who? Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin. Wow. Oh. I wonder if she would have passed this high five quiz. All right, Caitlin. Caitlin Casamo. Like casino, Casamo. Casino. Well, yeah, if you want to say it that way, that's good. <laughs> uh, that's good too. I like your version. And you volunteer where? I volunteer at the Oregon Zoo. Oh, fantastic. Now, if you could just steal one animal and take it home with you, what would it be? I'd steal home a uh, polar bear. Polar bear. Very <laughs> cute and cuddly. Now, Connor, get over here. Connor Johnston, you just finished last night with what performance? Uh, the Music Man at my school. Music Man. So you're a musical guy. Yeah. You got it going on academically, but you can sing also? Yeah. Would you like to sing anything for us? Um, not right now. You're going to hold off on that. Okay, <laughs> well, for more about OES, you can visit our website. And Wayne, back to you. Thanks for coming on the top there, Joe. All right. All right, now let's check our next five categories. All right, we'll have our mystery category, American presidents, bestsellers, potpourri, and clothing. Let's go to the first. All right, we'll start off with clothing. Something we're all wearing. <laughs> I hope. All right, we have another break. When we come back, we'll find a mystery category and we'll crown a winner. Be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to the High Five Challenge. We found our mystery category during the break. It is state quarters. Let's go to the first question. For 40 points, Mississippi's quarter depicts these flowers that give the state its nickname. Okay, Laura. Show me. That is incorrect. Hawkinson, okay. Oregon Episcopal, three seconds. Magnolias. For 20 points, this Bay State's quarter features its nickname and an image of a Minuteman. Hawkinson. Okay, Spencer. Massachusetts. You got it. Yes. Here we go with 80 points. Listen up. This state's quarter bears the image of Helen Keller and her name in Braille. Hawkinson. Spencer. Alabama. Alabama is correct. Yes, very good. For 20 points, naturalist John Muir and the Yos Yosemite Valley are depicted on this state's two-bit piece. Hawkinson. Okay, Spencer. California. California is correct. Yes, and for 40 points. In 2008, the last in a series of commemorative quarters was issued for this state. Oregon Episcopal okay, Steel. Steel by Hope. Okay. Uh, Hawaii. Hawaii is correct. Yes, very good. Okay, let's check the score. We ended up with Oregon Episcopal 2200. Hawkinson 2260. You came back and won today's round. Congratulations. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. So long, everybody, and God bless our kids. You go out there and watch each other. Is that nice fun going. or what? Nice going, guys. <laughs>